Welcome, I'm Rob Azul and you're watching one of the technical information materials of CFD engineering. This video shows the propagation of pressure waves in pipes or, with other words, the water hammer effect. It's an interesting question why pressure waves develop and propagate in a piping system. Under industrial circumstances it happens when, for example, a valve suddenly closes the flow path of water, oil or gas. In this case a pressure increase is created at the location of the closing and it spreads throughout the system very very fast. So what? Well, the problem is that this pressure wave spreads with the speed of sound applicable in that specific fluid and the pressure increase, depending on the system parameters, can be really high. This leads to the fact that the pressure wave can break piping connections and can burst rubber hoses. But I've got good news. This pressure wave development and spreading can be simulated with CF design. Let me show two examples. The first one is a simple pipe. This job is easy to solve and the results are pretty straightforward. From the place of the closing, it was the outlet, the pressure wave starts, it goes through the whole pipe, when it arrives to the inlet it turns back and it travels till it reaches the closed end. This starts back again and so on. You can see it on the pressure graph which was measured inside of the pipe. This pressure traveling back and forth won't last till the end of time, its intensity is continuously decreased by the friction between the fluid and the piping wall. The geometry of the second example is a bit more complex. There are two inlets. The outlet is just right here. Let's check out what happens when it is closed. The wave starts, but at the junctions more pressure wave fronts evolve, which then leave their own lives. The first and the other hit the inlets, they turn back several times while hitting each other as well, and when the low pressure arrives back to the closed end, a new pressure wave formulates and it starts again. For geometry like this, the pressure graph is more interesting. A measuring point is crossed by several smaller, bigger pressure waves. During the design of a piping system, to determine where to place the pressure relief sensors and what their operating pressure range should be, such simulations made on the complex piping geometry have key role. If you are curious to see simulations like this or just simply interested in CFD used in the everyday product development, please check out our website. Thanks for watching. See you next time.